to Planet on Earth. Uh, I'm here with Alec Madrusky, or as he's better known in the acting world, Alec Kay. Thank you so much for joining us, Alec. Appreciate Thank you, it. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Now, I said actor, but really, um, Alec is a musician. He's uh, obviously an actor, dancer, martial arts expert, stunts. What don't you do? Is there anything that you don't do? Uh, well, you know, I, I don't do like uh, private dances just yet, but I'm getting into it, so uh, <laughs> still learning about well, that's it. Good, that's good to know. Um, now, also, uh, I didn't mention modelling, but uh, is this is this your trick? So you've covered all bases, so that you can land all the gigs that no one else is qualified for. Well, it, pretty much you, you, you can say it like that. But uh, I try to do bits and bits and pieces as, as, as a hobby. But uh, eventually, when we did that amazing short film about three years ago, I realised that by doing something extraordinary, something short. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get too far. We actually got pretty far with it. And, uh, deeper than yesterday you're referring deep, to? Deeper than yesterday is what I'm talking about. It's just uh, share with the audience the, the awards that came out of that short film. Well, it was directed by a mega talented, uh, I'd say genius, young director, Ariel Kleiman from uh, Victorian College of the Arts. And um, pretty much uh, we had a world premiere at the World Count Festival, which is uh, part of the Critics Week. And all of a sudden we got two awards out of three. And from then on it was just a roller coaster. The film has been featured for three years in a row now. We won the Sundance Festival last year, uh, Beijing, Golden Hugo. Uh, we missed out on the Oscars, unfortunately, but we're <laughs> a little bit too rough, you know, so this year. Do you still but, drop uh, it, though, in conversation? I almost got to the Oscars. I, I, I try not to, you know, because uh, not, like, when it comes to short films, not many people get to see it apart from the people in the, in the actual industry. Of course. But uh, I was actually happy by the fact that we, we were the only Australian film, and the whole film is pretty much featured in, in Russian language. and. It's like a foreign language film, but, but you, you know we represent. You speak several Australia. languages, so so you'd obviously well, be I fine try, with I that. Well, I try. I try. Yeah, I was a linguist in, uh, when I was serving in the military, and you mentioned Mad Rusky. It's a combination of Mad Max and uh, Lemon Rusky, you know. <laughs> so so the, the the Aussie guys gave me that nickname, which <laughs> so still still didn't get warned so, about that before uh, you came on the show. Um, now you, uh, how did you get into martial arts and, and stunts? How did you get into that? What's the scariest stunt you've had to, ever had to pull off? Oh. Uh, First question of the second. Both. <laughs> so both. Uh, into one. Well, pretty much I was born in the Central Asian region, which is part of the Soviet Union, and back then you had two options. You either play chess and get beaten up on the streets, or you do martial arts. So I thought, you know, I just don't want to get beaten up and, uh, you know, <laughs> just started doing martial arts. <laughs> and what, what's the scariest stunt you've ever had to pull off? Uh, well, as part of a Deeper Than Yesterday, pretty much I had a freedom of, because um, I, I was the stance coordinator, and uh, Ari, one of the craziest directors that I know, uh, he wanted us to jump off the submarine into the seven degree water, and it was only one take, so uh, the, the, like none of us are prof were professional stuntmen, and probably Jean-Claude Van Damme or Jackie Chan would have said, man, I'm not doing that, you know, this is too scary, and uh, yeah, we actually pulled that off with one, one shot, and uh, it actually paid off, so we got all these beautiful awards, and uh, the one I'm particularly proud of is the one in Beijing, mm -hmm. because the Chinese people they really, they really know how to do their stunts. You know, they got the big stars like Jet Li and uh, Jackie Chan. And, yeah, uh, it was, it was quite rewarding just just to know that we actually got got somewhere and uh, got the recognition of the uh, so Asian star production. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was going to say, yeah. um, for a lot of young actors in the industry, often they they look down on short films. Uh, great to get some practice, but then once they get into it, I guess people are concerned they're not taken seriously enough. Mm. Whereas this film's gone all over the world, and as you have three years running, they're still they're still featuring it. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Yeah. Would you suggest that young actors definitely keep their eyes open for, for the right type of script? Oh, absolutely, that absolutely. Their eye? Like it's just um, it's, it's all about the passion. I'm mm -hmm. sure everyone's here. You know, they got the passion to be here, and you know, join the star now. You know, guys, if you have an opportunity, if you got spare time, I know. Look, like, unfortunately. Sometimes it doesn't pay the bills, but look, it, it gives you so much inspiration for the future, and you never know. You can be like, you know, the guys who. You. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, you, <laughs> you said it perfectly. Starnow.com.au. Maybe, maybe after tonight I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Starnow.com.au. You can look up Alex's profile. It's Alec K. Um, definitely jump on board. It's fantastic. You get auditions from all over the world. Thank you so much for joining us. Really thank you, appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. You guys are doing a great job. I hope, I hope uh, we'll see each other again sometime. All right? That sounds thank great. You. Thank you.